Whoa. All right, here to do the chat questions. <clears throat> All right. Well, hopefully, I can handle it. Let's see how All right. Much love. Uh, here we go. Greetings all, this is Archangel Michael. The vibrations here are yes, sending out joy to all. There is frustration, I see. Blessings. So whatever you are ready, I'm happy to connect. Yes, thank you very much for coming in. And the first question is from Balancer. Am I wasting my life? No. Uh, no. You are still finding yourself. So continue on. But it's when you stop trying is, I don't see you wasting your life at all. Just the way you ask me at shows that you are, you are still trying. So those that do not ask, you are the ones are the ones some of them are the ones that aren't wasting it. But that's not always the case. But I hope you understand. You are not wasting your life. Just continue on on your journey. That is all. Blessings. Okay. Second question. Should I continue pursuing my main goal? Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand sometimes goals take a while to get to, but it is when you stop is when it will never be getting it. You will never achieve it. So yes, continue on. Let's just do it. Okay. And next is April Anderson. Any messages for me? Yes. Live within your heart chakra. Visualize it in a meditation or whatever feels right for you because there is a great amount of pain there from the past. If you put joy and love there, it will release things from your past. I will assist you, but you need to assist it. You just put your focus on your heart chakra, allow it to heal. Most likely you'll feel something move as for being released. Blessings to you. Okay. <clears throat> Next is Bosco. Hi, peace and blessings. I have been seeing 1111. What does this mean other than changing the clock back one hour in my car? It's an angel number. You are following your, you are following your dreams more than you realize. You are following your path. It is your angels letting you know a great change is among you, a positive change that you will, it feels like more of a spiritual direction. As your angels will connect to you more, but also your vibration and your density will change as for changing your life. Your spiritual and your dimension are always connecting, but as your spirit rises, and it is, your life is shifting with it. Blessings to you. Okay, second question. Is my girlfriend part of any alliances or councils? The Orion Council, yes. And you are part of the Palladian Council within the Galactic Federation of Light. Blessings. Okay, and next is Donna Rakes. 
Would you please explain why a creator does not intervene on behalf of children caught up in satanic rituals as they are unable to protect themselves from ones they have come to trust? Thank you. Yes, but understand they came into this incarnation know exactly what they're getting into. It is part of their warning process. They know what they're getting into. They don't come into this world with an empty slate of not knowing. They know exactly what's happening. A part of this earth's process as just is no different. Okay, some of that is no different than what's happening in your slaughterhouses and your food that's going on with your, with your animals. They know what they're getting into also. So it is a way of your world at this time. It's for you all to raise your vibration and change it. So it is part of anyone to incarnate here to experience this world. And some take, yes, hard realities. Yes. Blessings to you. Okay. Next question from her, from Donna is, of all my life paths that are presented in my timeline, what do you see for a life path that I should be pursuing this coming year? Any messages? That is up to you. What is it? What is that burning feeling within you? I cannot live your life. You have to live your life on your own. But what is it? it? Seems like creativity is a part of you that has not always been fully explored. Creativity can also give back to you. I do see paintings. I do see creativity. That's all I see is creativity. It's up to you. What is it the fire within you do you wish to experience? Blessings. Okay, next is Debbie M. Any messages for me? Yes, your vibration is changing greatly. You're also learning more about yourself, even if you might not feel it. You're also getting closer to yourself. Your vibration is changing with the earth. You're also manifesting more clearly than you might realize. As there is change in the air for you as others, as you are, it's this seem like you are moving timelines as for possible job change. I do see your hair changing, but that's up to you, of course, blessings. Okay, and second question, why am I waking up around two in the morning? You're living, you're, you're arriving back from astral. You're, you're arriving actually early. It just lets you know that your, your astral body is very active at this time. <clears throat> it's your spiritual self letting you know that you are to more connect with it. As you meditate after arriving back, or ask your guides, ask your angels, where were you? It's possible you feel like you're an answer. I feel you connected to the Andromedans a lot recently. Blessings to you. Okay. Next is Crystal Leaf Snow. Are there any messages from my hybrid children? Only to stay active. The more active you are, the more you stay alignment with the earth. You know this. Communicating, being active keeps your vibration at its highest level. You realize when more when you're not so active, your vibration goes down. You don't always thinking clearly. So they love that about you. Blessings. As to your activeness. Blessings. And next to her next question, are there any messages from my guides? Yes, be patient, there is a change coming. Also, there's a male figure, I believe husband, his health isn't exactly doing the best at this time. So send, send, <clears throat> send him energy and also you might need to see a doctor. Let's go by the vibration, it feels right, but it seems like his health isn't exactly of as it could, could be. Let's see. Okay. And next is Thomas Patterson. Any messages for me from extraterrestrials or the angel realms? Only that you're following what is bringing happiness to you and to continue to do so. 
It's also bringing your vibration to a higher level. It's also giving you more focus. There is a, a possible female energy of entering your life soon to change things around for the better. Blessings. Okay, second question. What kind of extraterrestrial percentages do I have? I feel very bird-like these days and learn. We are very Arcturian at this time. That is at a 10% level. Your wearing is at 5%, but you've always been very wearing. The Arcturian is probably what you are feeling. Yes, it is. You're connecting more Arcturians than you realize. Some of them are bird looking, but you are connected to many birds, but they are working with your chakra systems. Blessings. Okay. And next is Rob. I keep, I kept waking up last night feeling like there was a presence in my bedroom. Who was it and what were they doing? It does feel like it was a, a being on the, the lower realms, also on the other side. A grandmother being was around you also. There's also Zetas around you assisting with your chakra energies. One moment. It's, it seems like around the back of your head, they've been working at least to ease tension in your life. Remove energy that's not needed from the back of your head. I'm not sure if you feel that. They're doing a clearing with you at this time. Not the lower energy, but the higher energies are. The lower one was just seeing what was going on. Okay, and second question, do I have any messages? Thank you. I do see more angel-like energy with you. I feel vortexes around you of positivity. This is also a dragon, a positive one, a golden dragon that is around you. Matesha, Matisha, Matisha. She's an ancient one of Agartha. You feel the Agarthian energies when you connect to her. At least I feel it. And it can, it can bring you closer to Agartha as for healing processes. Yes, they say you are a wizard in Agartha. You're one of your past lives. Similar to your Middle Earth wizard, it was one of a guardian of Agartha, but one of enlightenment of others to bring joy and jokes and laughter to others. Okay, and next is Carol McLaughlin. Thank you for being here. Are there any messages for me? There's a energy around you, a female energy. Yes, I believe a new guide has been brought to you. Yes, the name Clara comes through. She's assisting you in your direction to see things more clearly. Assisting your third eye, whilst assisting, helping you connect them to more of your guides. There's a male energy in your life that might be causing some slight aggravation. That's what I see. But the worries there is, I can't tell if it's a husband energy but it is a one that is of good importance, but you can help clear his, <laughs> you can help clear his energy. <clears throat> Sometimes his vibration lowers your worse because he does not understand all these things yet of releasing negative. And you can assist him on clearing his energy using the angels, of course, just intention. A release and negativity, just intention of healing. Blessings. Okay, and second question is Are there any messages for my sister Pamela? 
Yes, do not be afraid of do, to do new things. Sometimes she's afraid of new things. To so get out there and try new things. Travel a little bit. Just new things. That's all I'm getting. Yes, blessings. Okay, and next is Symmetry. Any messages for me? Yes, your guides are saying they're having difficulty fully connecting. You have a lot of, as mentioned before, a lot of Anunnaki connections. So it makes your life very difficult to fully see the full picture. A meditation, a an asking of your guides to clear out this negativity, to have more focus. Ask your guides for more focus on what's important. And it should clear out some of this Anunnaki, it seems like nonsense energy, because they're trying to change your mentality, your direction. They are not, they're not always the easiest. They are fooling your mind slightly. I believe you understand. They're making this life a little harder than it needs to be, basically. There's more, but I'll leave you with that. Blessings. Okay, second question. I am currently attending college, and I don't like it. I don't really like it. I don't think it's going to work out. Will there be an opportunity? Will there be any opportunities or turning point where a new path will open up, where I can do something else and actually like it with no anxiety attached to it? Only problem is when you, if you leave the college environment, it does make life a little bit more difficult. And it's much worse, actually. At least you already got your foot in, and to just continue on, this is up to you, of course. But as for a new direction, it's up to you to build these other opportunities. But at this time, leaving there would cause more disarray. At least you have that on your resume once you have it completed or some sort of education, because it does help you in your future time. As for winning the lottery or another, that is all up to you what you bring in your vibration but at this time. Yes, it's aggravating, but pulling through would be probably the best at this time. As the other avenues are not exactly the best. They won't be as rewarding as having that. So, you know, but keep spirits up. But it is up to you, of course. As for other avenues, it's up to you. It's all up to you. You can create your reality, of course. So you can always, it's, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. Okay, next is Brad, Brad, Brady Boy or Brady Boy. Is the channeler Daniel Scranton real? Is he truly channeling the Octarian Council of Light? Yes. Yes, it's not always, and understand the messages aren't always of what you, doesn't always resonate, but yes, he is connected. And second question, I have a conspiracy against me and it's very powerful. I discussed it with a girl called Nitya. She suggests to call upon Kali. What are your advices about all this? The conspiracy, Nitya, Kali, thank you. Well, the message is to just let it clear out on its own and not to make it any worse than it already is. At least that's the vibration I'm receiving. No action for this is better than action. It does seem like you're doing yourself a favor by not causing any more drama or any type of vibrational. I would just let it settle out on its own. At least that's the vibration I'm getting from it, but you might see it differently, but letting it be would be the best. The more you ponder upon it, it will make it worse from what I'm seeing at this time. Blessings. Okay, and next is Alex78. Are there any messages from my guides? Oh, yes. 
Yes, your guys are interesting. They say move quickly, but move slowly. Meaning, do what feels right as you are connecting more with them. Be spontaneous as you get a thought to jump on it, because it does. It shows how trusting you are becoming more of your guides. The more you, your instincts realize that is you, that is your higher self connecting to your guides of what is right for you, steering your life. Hopefully that feels right for you, but the more you understand the vibration of your guides helps you in your direction. I believe you understand where I'm going with all this. Trusting your guides, trusting your instincts will help you guide you to the right direction of your life. I believe that makes sense. Blessings. Okay. And next is... Um, Okay, next is Daria. Any messages for me, from you? Yes, not to take what others say too seriously. So I'm not. <laughs> the lower vibrations are causing a lot of disarray with you. Is to heal them, it is difficult to heal them, have them release, but these words from others are causing a lot of mental malfunction as for thinking clearly, as the ones that are doing this don't know any better. And they're just, their stuff is, is, is lowering your vibration, but they're not aware of it. So to clear out your space, it is very difficult to do that because it feels like they're overwhelmed at this time. Taking a walk, of course it's probably cold out, but find some way of releasing this negative energy. Lessons. Okay, um, next. Any revealing messages for her? That would be fun to hear. At this time, Ivan's energy is low, but we will do our best one moment. Yes, you're connecting much with the Bactrians at this time in the astral. As for releasing a lot of your, fam your family karma. And this is another reason why they're fighting back, to you, fighting back at you in this reality. Because you're helping heal them in a higher realm that they don't. And in this density, they are kind of, they're not like that. They're not like that healing. So they're fighting back. I'm not sure if that's funny, but that's what's going on. Blessings. Okay. Um, is Ivan okay to continue? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is Moses. Does my higher self know the outcome of the second job interview? And if it's good decision for the future to take the new job in the north of my country? Yes, it seems like it will work out for you. Judging by the energies we see at this time, I believe it will. Can't be 100%, but it does seem like it will work out. If it is not, you will find another position, but I believe this will work out. Hard to say at this time. But it seems. Okay, and any messages from my higher self? Yes, to follow what's important to you. You're doing this. You're following your, your, your higher self, your guides. You're, you're reaching out to them more than you realize. And you're healing yourself. In this new direction, you're healing yourself. You're, you're changing your direction in a, such a positive way. You're, you're just you're letting go of the past also. Change of job, change of different things is a change of everything at least what you wanted to move away from. I believe you understand that. Okay, and Marianne, 9999, are there any messages for me? Yes, whoa, interesting. Yes, there's a 
a dinosaur species of pterodactyl that connects to you. It's a diamond looking pterodactyl energy from Sirius, Sirius B. Yes, there's dinosaurs in Sirius B. Not ones that you might think of, but they're very positive. Is there, these are healing energies. You've, I'm not sure how you feel about pterodactyls, but you've had incarnations as one, but they're right now assisting your energy field and outlook. We'll see how you go by that vibration, see how you feel about that. Yes, I mean, have a pterodactyl energy around you. Yes, this third density is hard to imagine that, but that is part of soul maturity blessings okay second question is what is my connection with lord mckizzledick moment i believe you have a daughter energy with him at one time during that last time a daughter that did not live very long but one that he quite respected yes very mature for your age, but I believe you had an illness. And I believe that long. You had, it wasn't until, I believe you lived in recent until 10 years old or something around those lines. I cannot fully connect to that, but you're highly respected though. Bless you. Okay, and Angie77? Does my mother-in-law have any messages for Carol? Yes, do not take things too seriously. She's not having any fun in her life. She has a lot of negativity around her and she just to chill out a little bit. Um, uh, having canines around seems to help elevate her energy and she loves that. Well, she will love that or something around those lines. The canine energy will help raise the spirits. Blessings. If there's not already one there, she's not saying if there's one or not. Blessings. Okay, and our second question is, do my guides have any messages for me? Connect with what is important to you, forget everything else. That is not, the little things do not matter. Contact, connect with, that does you for the higher good. Because sometimes you, you waste your time on things that are not that important. What is the big picture in your life? What is it that you want? Concentrate on that to bring that vibration closer to you. And some things do take years, but you can make it happen. I do see the arts around you, but there's other things. Awesome. Okay. And next is Joyce S. Does my father-in-law, David, have any messages for me or his sons? Yes, only that he wished he was there a lot longer. He didn't, he checked out sooner than he wanted to, but it was for his time to go though. And for all of you to realize he is, he loves you all and he wish he was there with you, that's all. That's that's the highest vibration, he just wish he can live life with you and he just misses it more than anything. He does show a canine, he does show television, I believe he also shows sports. He just wish he can experience all these things. Okay, and second question, is Robin at peace now? And if he has any messages for us? Yes, uh, not, not at peace now. Message, do not follow him in his footsteps. Or her footsteps, I'm not picking up he or she, but do not follow those footsteps at all. You can do better, is what they say. That's all. Sorry, mm -hmm. all is all I see. Blessings. Mm -hmm. Okay, and next is Wanda11. What type of work am I doing in astral? I remember some of it, but for the last three nights, <clears throat> it's been really rough all the next days. Like, it's bleeding through to this time. feel like I have been through a war zone the next day yes. and I'm tired all day and feel bad. Yes, I mean, connected to Andromeda's, there's been a reptilian war going on and you've been assisting, to, assisting in a positive way. Yes, there's a reptilian going on. 
within the Andromedans, I believe right outside the Andromedan constellation, but many reptilians want they get aggravated sometimes with the Andromedans, so they're causing a lot of ruckus at this time. So you're healing, you're feeling the vibration, but you are feeling a lot of it. And it's hard to remember these things because some of it you don't want to remember for good reason. You had it many peaceful times in astral, but this time it is, it, it seems like it's going to go on for some time. It's just a, it's a dispute over energy, over energy crystals. It is nonsense, but reptilians want to take over, take power from the Andromedans. And this happens every once in a while where they just, they can't take it anymore and they have to go, they have to do something to cause ruckus. And this is what they're causing. There's more to it than that, but blessings. And our second question is, what does my mom work with? How does my mom work? Uh, sorry. <laughs> How much does my mom work with me in astral? She's in a lot of my more intense experiences. Yes, yeah, she is a guardian angel, you can say. As she's been through many things in astral, much more because of just, she's just been through more, you say, activities and you've taken more of a lighter side, which is fine. But she's just showing you her point of view of hardship she's been through. I don't believe you want to go through some of that hardship. I do not see that. Blessings for the better. Okay. And next is um, Stacy. Considering pursuing a business course to assist me in opening my practice. Do my guides feel this is a good step? Yes, yeah, so go about it very slowly. Take your time. Do not rush. Go by with vibrations that feel right for you. Yes. Okay. And our second question is, can I get an update on my chakra system, please, and where most attention is needed? I'm currently working and ready to open my third eye more, as well as my crown. Yes, your third eye is the one that needs most of the attention at this time. The rest of your chakra seems to be. Your root chakra seems to be going through taking a lot of hits recently. You can allow yourself to heal that portion. It will help you brown, but your third eye would like to have your assistance definitely so you can see more, feel more, at least feel more vibrations around you. Blessings. There is a lot of Nordics around you at this time. Okay, and second question, oh, next is Chloe. Any messages for me? Yes, to be more honest with yourself, that you can take charge of your life. Sometimes you get lazy and don't think you can live your life as fullest as you'd like to. Is to take more focus, take more control over it, where you feel you are in charge and you can do these things that you, these dreams can be accomplished instead of just feeling like it'll take forever. Blessings. Okay. And second question is, we heard there was going to be a big change for our host student here, Jiri, in February. What is this? I do not see anything at this time. I do not see that. Whatever it is, it's been changed. Okay. And next is Sandia. Do I have any messages for my guides at this time? Moment. There's a lot of the yell energies at this time. But message to you. One moment. Yes, to remember that you are a teacher and your, your children are your students. And to focus on what helps your vibration stay at a high vibration. Because some of your students get kind of rowdy. What is it that brings happiness to them? One thing, I imagine they all have at least one thing that brings happiness. Sometimes you have to bring that one thing in front of them to let go of some of the drama that they stir around. It does help get their focus onto what you want them to focus on. 
focus on one thing that they want and then help them focus on you and what you have to tell them. Blessings. Okay, and second question, any information on one of my past lives that might be useful to share with me at this time? Yes, you had a live time. <laughs> Yes, you had a lot of time where you knew Mary and Joseph during Jesus' time. After Jesus left, I believe you connected to them. You were one of their friends. I believe you feel that vibration. As a female, of course. Okay, and next is Stephanie Ritterman. When my mom was pregnant with my brother, Andrew, who and what beings were around her during that time? I can't go into all of those. There's a lot of drama and be uh well actually your brother's a lot of four moments that was around you. There's mostly Zetas around her. And red signs. And weirings that were not exactly of the friendliest energy. Uh they were kind of neutral energies. And Archangel Michael was there, of course, because he knows them very well. Over there, it's anybody there? Oh, hello. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Um, her second question is: During her pregnancy, she had five children appear to her while she was at work. Who were they, and where were they from? Those were just uh, future children that she possibly could have. That was all. Uh, one of them was a one of them was a hybrid child. From oh. the energy. So. Okay. And now there's Shao Ma. I had a bad dream last night. One of the images which my guide showed me is an airplane crashed on land. Normally they show me this is to warn me of, of coming bad news. Can you ask them in what aspect of my life should I be more cautious about? I would not be worried about anything. You are seeing a timeline that you're not even involved with. It seems like it's part of you that's doing other work. Another aspect of you is involved with espionage type of vibrations. I will not worry. It is not in your vibration. It's another aspect of you. That's all. Yes, it is very James Bond-like, I see. Blessings. Okay, second question. I was looking for a bigger size lid on a cooking pot in last night's dream. What, what's this lid on a cooking pot referring to? That you're not always, you don't feel like you're always having the right situation. How, everything's not always fitting together. So you are, you're working on fitting everything together. Possible, I don't think you'll have another dream of that again, but you're not always, sometimes it feels like you're not always, everything's not fitting as you would like, as you think it should, as it should actually. So there's always, you're seeing also it's different perspectives, what you're seeing from your different guys, you're seeing different energies. And sometimes things aren't meant to fit in properly also, fit together properly, I should say. That's all it is, it's something, nothing else I see there, blessings. Okay, and I was, okay, and next is Gray Joyride. Hi, any messages or inspiration for me? I need to follow your highest excitement. That's out. I see knitting for some reason. Your guys are showing knitting of creating of, it might help you calm your nerves help cut down the tension, maybe as a small hobby, some sort of knitting. It, they're just saying that that would help calm things down, get your focus on something else. Okay, and our second question is, what kind of work was I involved with in Atlantis and my Anunnaki lifetime? Energy work as for, I see you as moving continents, continents around in the early times of Atlantis. That was a possible energy. Moving, yes, and it did. It was safe at that time, but then Atlanteans stopped doing it and lost that knowledge. 
they did help move Atlantis around sometimes. They did move that around also, but they knew what they were doing. And then after a while, they, the vibrations got lower and they thought they knew what they were doing. And it wasn't the same anymore. I see continent shifts, but it was a positive way for healing the earth, healing vibrations of Mother Earth. It was of, there's more to it, but your guys are telling that there's more to it than that. But that's what they have for this time. Okay, and that's the last of tonight's questions. Thank you very much. Ah, much love to you all. Yes. Much love. Many happy and angel energies to you. Healing this coming year will shake many of you up, but in a good way. But of course, it's all in how you look at it. So blessings. Love from the angels. Me and John. Thank you.